He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. It's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live and in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you joined us. We are on show 275, and it's an interesting show. Actually, let's take a look at our gadget of the day right off the bat. Let's switch to camera two. And here we have it. It's called the PhotoFast iOS Card Reader. And this is a very cool gadget, to say the least. So let's get right into it, folks. Uh, welcome, everyone. If you're new to The Gadget Professor, thank you so much for tuning in. The Gadget Professor is now heard on 172 countries around the world, and I have you to thank for that. If you are new to The Gadget Professor, you may want to sign up for the, uh, the show notes, and that's pretty easy. Uh, if you go to our webpage, and that's www.thegadgetprofessor.com, and if you scroll down on the right hand side to right around there if you click on the newsletter button and put in your email address every thursday evening as soon as the new show is ready you will get the show notes which is simply a synopsis of everything we talked about in each show and it's hot link so that way you don't have to take notes so it's pretty easy to do that also you can email me 24 hours a day seven days a week at the gadget professor at gmail.com that would be the gadget professor at gmail.com i love hearing from you and i definitely do answer all my email so let's take a look folks at the uh, gadget of the day it is called the photo fast cr that would be cr 880 and this is a cool gadget no kidding uh what this is in, what, what this actually is, is it's a very small uh, USB reader, and this is it right here, and I'm going to show you this close up. What this is, is a USB port reader, but if you notice, it has a flash connector on it. So what's going to happen is this is going to plug directly into your iPhone, so it's going to look something like this. That's it. And it's a very clever device. And what this will actually do is extend your iPhone data storage in a nutshell. Now, what's really cool about this is we'll take another look on camera two. And uh, right here, here's the key to this thing, and I really like it. It is a small SD card that you actually can put in. So there it is. So I have a 16 gig card in here obviously it's a small micro card SD card but they're standard there's nothing special about that and as I said this is 16 gig you can get any size you want and it slides right into there like so you can't put it in wrong because it won't go so uh, that, that's pretty much it now what you can do with this is pretty ingenious so you can take your iPhone or your iPad it doesn't really matter and increase the storage capability I know I had a uh, 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 an iPhone 6 and uh, it was 32 gig and I gotta tell you I couldn't take a picture with it there were so many apps because I'm the gadget professor I had a zillion apps on it and uh, it was full but what I could do with this uh, extension card as I call it is basically plug it into the iPhone and I can put movies on this 16 gig card I can take photos uh, pretty much uh, spreadsheet files whatever I want put it into into this little uh, SD card plug it into my iPhone and access it I can read and write to the card which is very cool the other thing that I really like about this other than uh, compared to other cards is that because this slot this chip is removable I can have multiple SD cards, so I can have as many movies or as many files or whatever it is I want on a variety of cards and just unplug it and then just stick it into this, and I have total access now in my uh, iPhone to, uh, to the information. That in itself is pretty cool, and uh, the ability to swap cards with this is really nice. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the web page. Again, it's called PhotoFast. They make a variety of different types of... Uh, of um, products if you will this is one is the CR880 
8800 uh, card reader, as I mentioned. Uh, this is what it looks like. It comes in white and black. Actually, I think it comes in a variety of colors. They have some great videos, but you can put your music on this. Play all your music and videos straight from the iOS car reader. I love that. Very convenient. It's the world's smallest iOS uh, micro SD card reader. Uh, the design, uh, LED choice over any more, blah, blah, blah. It, it, it talks about the ability to have speed, storage, reliability. Reliability. You can store, you can transfer, you can back up, you can stream your data. So essentially what you can do is put a movie on this, put it into your iPhone, and then stream it wherever you want. And it's fast enough, and the quality is phenomenal because it's just an SD card. Uh, you can go up to 128 gigs of extra storage on your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod. Uh, as you can see here in the photograph, it's very simple to operate. And uh, here are all the various types of formats that the card will recognize. And uh, it's really pretty straightforward. There's not much you have to know. Just put whatever it is you want on your card. Or you can go vice versa. You can go from your uh, iPad or iPod directly into this card and pull it out. So it's uh, very low power consumption. Here you see a variety of some dazzling colors that they have, which makes it cool. And again, uh, you can put your music, your photos, your videos, your camera roll. Uh, this will work with AirPlay, which is fantastic. Uh, I really like that function. And you have cloud storage integration, manage your iCloud Drive, Dropbox, Google Drive accounts on your iDevice uh, and the CR8800. Also, you have social media backup and access, which is very cool. You can access your YouTube and your Vimeo accounts. Also, back up your Instagrams, your Facebook, uh, your Flickr, your Tumblr, so on and so forth. So it's a very versatile tool. Not to mention that you have the ability to lock this. You can control access to your important files and folders because this has an app lock. There's an app that you can download for this and you can protect it in your app store just by your fingerprint. That alone is worth the price of admission on this. The fact that you can actually lock in with your fingerprint and secure the files that are on here makes it great for all kinds of security work including any type of medical work and today uh, you want to keep things encrypted for sure. It's a lightning lock control access to the external uh, storage from your iOS. Uh, it's a voice recorder, so if you want to take memos and you have a lot of them or class or whatever, you can even tape a concert on it. Just plug it in and talk and uh, direct the uh, recording to the uh, SD card and you're all set. So this is it. It's the PhotoFast iFlash Drive 1 designed to back up, organize your files, and leave no files behind. And uh, this goes through a very extensive... Uh, uh, indication of what the types of things are, what types of things you can do with this. And there's 31 different things. The, the website is fantastic. It is called photofast.com. In terms of pricing, uh, it's very reasonable priced. I just checked out Amazon, and uh, on Amazon, this sells for $34.29. It's prime, so that means you'll get it within two days. So uh, very affordable, very versatile. I've been using this now for about two months, have not had one problem with it uh, and again the fact that I can access it uh, uh, securely and lock it with my fingerprint via the app uh, makes this a phenomenal device that coupled with the ability to pull out your micro SD card and put as many cards as you want into this uh, it's an excellent excellent value so if you have a 32 uh, a gig uh, iPhone and you're running out of storage or whatever iPhone you have if you have the 128 uh, iPhone, uh, your iPhone Plus 6, it doesn't matter and you need more storage, this will add another 128 uh, gigs to it or more if you want to change cards. So uh, I highly recommend the device. Uh, as I said, it is available on um, Amazon for $34.29. Excellent price and uh, definitely check it out. One of the cooler items that I carry with me when I travel without question, I just throw this in my pocket. Actually, I have a couple of them. I think I have two or three of them, different colors for different things. I loan them to the kids, friends, whatever. Uh, you'll be a superstar for 35 bucks. Check this out. Definitely check it out. All right, let's get into some uh, apps of the day and uh, some, uh, some news and things like that. The first thing that I will uh, call your attention to is the Wall Street Journal uh, just a couple days ago said that Microsoft says uh, the Russians hacked and exploited uh, their flaws in their window. This is a, uh, uh, a very 
pathetic situation when you have a company like Microsoft and uh, the Russians are hacking it. Supposedly, uh, they actually uh, hacked through Microsoft and attacked the uh, DNC, the Democratic National Convention. You really need to keep up on this stuff, and uh, it's so serious that rarely does Microsoft issue an apology letter, letter or uh, uh, something concerning their, cons their uh, commitment to security. But here it is. This was just released on November 1st, and it talks about the... Um, uh, the uh, infiltration into their systems, the security breaches, how they're patching it up, uh, how they're working with Adobe and other companies to uh, patch that hole up. It's something you really want to read and keep uh, keep appraised of. So, uh, And now uh, it's coming very close to Thanksgiving time and Black Friday, which uh, is one of my favorite holidays of the year, Thanksgiving. Uh, Black Friday has made it complicated for a variety of reasons, but uh, still there are a zillion, bazillion shoppers out there, the busiest day for all the stores in the uh, country, uh, Thanksgiving or Black Friday sales, and don't forget Cyber Monday sales. So uh, here's something you may not be aware of, that Amazon, that's right, Amazon is actually running their pre-Black Friday sales right now as we speak. So you can go on to the uh, Amazon website and... Check out their Countdown to Black Friday Week deals, and they have all kinds of stuff, and I've been looking at this for a day or two. What I like about this is it's changing constantly. They constantly have new deals coming up, and the prices are quite good compared to their normal prices, and there are probably thousands of different types of, uh, of items up there on a continual basis that are supposedly Black Friday prices. So if you're itching to go, uh, definitely check that page out. I think you will like it. Now, here's an interesting site. Uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I don't let many people know this, but I'll let my fans in on a secret. Uh, the Gadget Professor from time to time uh, does wear hearing aids. Uh, I used to play in a rock and roll band for many, many years, and uh, back then, the louder the better, and uh, that's the days of the fuzz tone and uh, all kinds of special effects, and yours truly went bonkers with that stuff and uh, played for, as I said, many years and I am now paying the price because it's becoming increasingly uh, more difficult for me to hear the human speech. So, henceforth, I wear hearing aids on occasion. I don't have them in now, though. Uh, when I'm in the studio, uh, it's nice and quiet here so I can hear everything. In any event, uh, I want to call your attention to a, uh, uh, a website that's totally free and actually uh, you may want to check out. It's an online hearing test and uh, audio printout program and what you're able to do with this particular program is check your hearing out uh, it's not foolproof but if you're curious what your hearing is like uh, this is a whole setup that will allow you to calibrate your ears your, your with the computer and uh, literally take a hearing test very similar to the types of a uh, audio uh, testing that is done in, in a professional uh, hearing aid center or by your doctor so it explains it in great deal great detail it's totally free and uh it's something that i think you should check out if you have any question about you know where is my hearing at today so very good site very uh uh intense with all kinds of information and it also does it in a bunch of different foreign languages so uh, uh you may want to check that out all right uh here's a a uh, we'll call it an app this is an add-on to chrome and as we all know, Facebook does all kinds of uh, behind-the-scenes things such as sending you ads and finding out how much air you breathe in a day and all kinds of things like that. So if you add this to your Chrome browser, what this particular app is, is it's what Facebook thinks about you, essentially what Facebook thinks you like. And if you add this, this extension basically allows you to navigate how Facebook collects your data. And based on that, you'll be able to change what data they have and what uh, it's actually using to send you ads and all kinds of crazy things. It's very simple to use. All you do is add to Chrome. Uh, it will be in the show notes. It's called What Facebook Thinks About, What Facebook Thinks You Like. And uh, you just click the Add to Chrome button right here and... Uh, that's pretty much it. So you're just going to add right there to your Chrome browser, and uh, that will apply that app. And every time you are on Facebook, uh, it's going to pop up and tell you uh, what they think about you in terms of what you like or dislike. So check that out. Now, here's some other sites. A lot of people use Craigslist. I don't like Craigslist. And the reason I don't like it is it's kind of creepy going to someone's house to buy something, especially if you're a female, not that I'm discriminating here, but you want to be triply extra careful. And uh, my wife, when she was alive, loved 
Craigslist, and she would go and sometimes not tell me she was going. It was no big deal, but uh, I always frowned on going some to someone's home that you don't know. You're probably best off to meet in a public place, whether it's the library or the police station or whatever, some safe place, when you're making any kind of transaction with someone that you don't know. That said, there are three other uh, websites that you may not know about uh, that offer you a little safer and also a more robust type of transaction. The first one that uh, I will talk about is called Oodle, O-O-D-L-E. And uh, this is a really cool website. It gives you a variety of uh, different types of merchandise to choose from. And uh, they have a safety center. And uh, the transactions are pretty much, uh, uh, they're carefully watched more so than Craigslist, which is uh, like the Wild West. Another site uh, that you may want to check out is called Sell.com. And uh, Sell.com, uh, marketplace is essentially a place where they'll help you sell your merchandise and it advertises it uh, on e-commerce solutions and they do things like electronics and, and pets and uh, all kinds of crazy things it's a neat site and it's all over the country and you can sell now you can sell your stuff or buy you can browse by category post your ad typical things that you would expect from a site where you're going to be exchanging goods and services so you may want to check this out the reason I'm bringing them to your attention is as I said it's an alternative to Craigslist and also if you're selling something it gives you three more outlets uh, to sell things on three different websites now this this last one that uh, we're going to look at uh, is called Pawn Go, and uh, it's a crazy name. And uh, essentially, what this is is you're going to pawn whatever it is that you're trying to sell. So this operates a tad different than the other three sites uh, in the sense that uh, it's safe, it's private, and it's secure. So you'll have an item, and uh, let's just say it, it, it's an item like this, and you want to sell it. So you'll create a description on a web page that comes up here for free and you'll tell them how much you would like to get for it and basically you pawn it I'm making this up so let's say you want five hundred dollars for your uh, uh, iPhone 6 plus and uh, you would describe the condition so on and so forth and say you'd like uh, let's say 500 bucks and then they will get back to you and tell you what they think it's worth and it's pawned and then you have X amount of days to uh, repay that or it disappears and they collect whatever money they want so it's kind of like a bartering situation but what what it does do it gives you immediate access to cash so if you really need cash in a hurry uh, pawn go may be indeed the site that you want to check it out and you got to be careful here because they loan you money and they charge you interest on the money and uh, you have to repay that so again uh, it's something for those people who need money quick no questions asked uh, you can get your money within 24 hours. I do know uh, one person that used this and actually told me about it. And as I checked it out, it, it seems like a, a unique option that you normally wouldn't find uh, elsewhere. So uh, that is pretty much it for today. It's a, a quick show. I just got back from a whirlwind tour uh, in about five days. I was in uh, Narragansett, Rhode Island, Westerly, Rhode Island. I was in Connecticut. I was in New York. And then I got the... Uh, Unfortunate news that my uh, mother-in-law passed away. She was 94. She was quite ill, had Alzheimer's, and uh, it's actually a blessing. So uh, long story short, I had to rent a car uh, and drive from New York City to Scranton, Pennsylvania. Went to the funeral, and then the next day I had to drive back to Philadelphia. I uh, had some friends and business I had to do there. And then the following morning, I flew back to uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm a little punchy. I'm a little jet lagged. and uh, But I'm okay. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I will be back next Thursday with a brand new episode. So long from The Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor.